tour of Lockheed Martin's operation facility in Camden today. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley joined them on that tour and has more now. Andrew. Today, the chairman, General C.Q. Brown, visited Lockheed's Camden facility as part of the Pentagon's push to get the House to move forward on a $95 billion foreign aid package that's key to getting munitions flowing to Ukraine again. We were honored to be able to, to host the general. Uh, he's new in his role, and so uh, to get out and see the defense uh, industrial base, we were honored that he chose Lockheed Martin, our Camden operations facility, to be able to do that. The importance of the facility cannot be overstated. It is the final assembly site for many vital long-range munitions, from guided rockets to ballistic missiles like ATACMs, as well as their launch systems like the HIMARS and M270. The M270, an older tracked model first entering service in the 80s, isn't actually produced anymore but retrofitted. The HIMARS, a more mobile wheeled launcher, is newer. Both launchers are very capable of, of, of utilizing the GMRS round, which is the primary round uh, in today's uh, environment. Uh, but it's also capable of utilizing the ATACMs as well as our precision uh, strike missile. The government has Lockheed rapidly ramping up capacity for HIMARS production from 60 HIMARS a year to 96 this year. Across multiple programs, we have an increase in rate. With Russia and NATO drawing perilously close to direct conflict over the Ukraine war and China throwing around the weight of its increasing military might in the east, the drums of war sound louder and louder, and all eyes are on the American war machine. What's happening here, what's happening in McAllister, where we go next, is important. Uh, especially to not just our, the efforts that are going on right now in Ukraine, what could possibly happen in Indo-Pacific, uh, but it's also our, our future conflicts that hopefully we can avoid, but it looks like we're heading straight to them. And if we're not all on the same boat, rowing in the same direction, then, uh, then we're going to be, we're, we're gonna be at, a, at a disadvantage. And so what the chairman is doing here is making sure we're all on the same page. Also along for the tour were Arkansas Congressman Bruce Westerman and Senator John Bozeman. When asked about foreign aid currently stalled in the House, Bozeman had this to say. Eventually, we're going to get the dollars that we need because it's so, so very important, uh, not only for Ukraine, but for Israel and then also the Asia component. Of it. This is really about, uh, again, keeping our the, the men and women that are out there protecting us, keeping them safe, keeping us safe. Pushing back against uh, the tyranny of the Russians. The missiles and launch systems being produced at Lockheed's Camden facility are a critical part of U.S. military aid to Ukraine. And whatever your view of the billions of dollars of U.S. aid going to Ukraine, General Brown expressed that at this point, the increased defense production that follows it, like here in Camden, is needed to replenish U.S. military stockpiles, which have been depleted by the Ukraine war. Good business for Lockheed. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. It always is. Andrew, thanks very much. To learn more about the Lockheed Martin facility or today's visit, just check out this story on KATV.com.